Okay, I think now, have you heard about piracy? Now the very fundamental question, how many of you think about yourself as pirates? Not at all. Okay, I think uh, maybe you will change your mind as we, or you have some tendency towards piracy. And to, saw, to have some insights into that, I give floor to Emil's uh, Dunis on his uh, project about film and TV, TV series piracy among consumers in Latvia. Yes, thank you for your introduction. <coughs> Hello, uh, my name is Emils, and uh, my thesis uh, topic is analysis of film and TV series piracy in uh, Latvia. So the outline that I'll be presenting today, um, the research questions that I focused on, uh, mainly, uh, is uh, what are the why why do people pirate in Latvia, and what are their propensity to do it, and if you are pirate, and you are pirating, uh, uh, if you are a pirate and you are pirating, are you ready to pay for uh, legal alternatives? So uh, piracy is a, dif a difficult and uh, complex topic that uh, involves all of these things. Uh, the main things to focus on, in my opinion, are uh, four highlighted ones. Uh, economic impact, obviously piracy is bad for the economy in a way. Uh, torrents are the main uh, thing, how people get, the, how people utilize piracy. Netflix is fighting against piracy, and the copyrights are the main thing that are infringed. And uh, going from that, uh, I decided to focus on individual users at home who pirate online, films and TV, and their willingness to pay, and compare it across countries. So as you can see from uh, Muso Data, which is a company in London that is uh, tracking uh, users online. And this is the data showing that uh, Latvia is in uh, fifth place in piracy demand because there are 225 clicks per person uh, roughly in, uh, in, uh, in a month. So that's quite a lot uh, comparing to uh, the Baltic countries where sort of the same but uh, more developed countries are doing better in this sense. Uh, the literature that I reviewed, the main, uh, the main thing, uh, the main uh, sort of trendsetter is the Software Alliance. Uh, that is, uh, it's a Microsoft-funded uh, Microsoft corporation that estimates damage every year through the survey. Musa is already what I talked about in the previous slide. And the main study that I focused on and built my study on is the EU study. Uh, that focused on six countries that uh, estimated the piracy rates in, uh, in all of the EU. So I, my sample size is uh, 246 uh, between the ages 18 and 44. Uh, online survey was distributed to pirates in a sense that uh, where they are located on, online. So popular forums, but popular websites where they are located, um, confidence level and uh, margin of error is low, so it's a good overall representation. So this is my data, online piracy. Uh, so people are literate in um, piracy terms. Everybody knows what is uh, torrent, PayPal, and uh, Bitcoin. So. And uh, talking about legal activity acceptance. So this is an important uh, topic to the propensity to pirate. So we have jaywalking, walk, uh, driving in a public transport without a ticket, doing, uh, uh, driving over the speed limits in a car, accepting uh, money.
And uh, the data is mine that shows that uh, uh, basically, cumulatively, all the people in Latvia are pirates because in some sense we are uh, accepting either one of these activities. So uh, infringing copyrights is also sort of okay. Uh, comparison between countries, so I compared it to Denmark and Poland. Poland is more uh, similar to our country, but uh, according to my data, uh, we are doing uh, much bigger numbers than, uh, than the comparison countries. 94% uh, of people have been to cinema in the previous year, and the main sort of think how people get TV online, uh, TV and films is uh, through legal streaming. And uh, the question was asked, uh, the question was asked uh, about uh, two pirates, just, just two pirates who have used illegal sources. Are they ready to pay for a legal alternative that is exactly the same as the illegal one? Uh, <laughs> and. Uh, This data shows that um, pirates are ready to pay and cooperate in the sense uh, where the subscription model works every month. So between one to two euros, two to four is acceptable level. Uh, so my conclusions are that uh, piracy more involved and uh, they're more fluent so they spend more on movies and TV and uh, the simplification of uh, payment systems and uh, registration could uh, also decrease piracy as it's uh, shown by Spotify um, as it after the introduction of Spotify uh, the piracy rates fell and uh, lack of content in um, restriction all areas uh, that's uh, meant geographically that uh, uh, people do not find what they want online. The example is Game of Thrones, which is a HBO, sh HBO show that uh, is not distributed in all countries. So pe pe it's very popular, people want to access it, but uh, they can't, so they pirate it. And uh, overall, it's better for, the, for HBO because uh, much of their revenue for the show comes from merchandise sales. Uh, and the referee question is about uh, what would I do to decrease piracy and uh, simplify the payment and registration. A uh, uh, controversial thing to do would be to encourage piracy sites. If, uh, if you own a copyright material, put up a fake or a trial run on, a, on the Pirate Bay, and that way you can increase the popularity and also uh, the possible engagement from the customers, which would um, translated to bigger revenues. Uh, based on the evidence from Norway and Germany, also after introduction of uh, strict rules, legal rules, uh, that sort of scare, uh, designed to scare pirates with fees and uh, things like that, it's also beneficial in a sense that it decreases piracy. And uh, that's it. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Questions? Questions? Yeah. Like I presume that the yes. telecom understands something about privacy. About privacy. Yeah. Uh, just one question. When you do, did the research, did you find out that people who do the pirate, they actually kind of feel that it's kind of a cool thing? So did it? So did you feel that the, the, the people who actually do the pirate, that's, it's kind of a cool trend? So it's cool to be a pirate, you know? I'm not paying, I'm getting it for free. Is that a cool thing? Actually, I found that, uh, found that um, people who pirate, 
they feel uh, if the product is good and they, they see the value, they feel the need to pay for it. They feel the need to sort of uh, contribute to the producer so he doesn't make losses. And uh, parsing was cool sort of more or less five to ten years ago. Now it's people don't talk about it that much. They sort of do it, but uh, not they don't promote it. Thank you. More questions? Audience? No, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you.